Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Let's Play Hearts of Iron 4 Kaiserreich as the business plots the U.S. Let us continue on for the last time off. We are currently navally invading Japan. You've actually are landing some troops here. I mean, Germany, if you can take some islands, I'd be more than happy to split uh, split Japan with you. Yeah, let's go Coentau, bro. The success of the new Alien Sedation Act has allowed us to identify several non-political and religious organizations with known syndicalist members. These groups will be monitored under the new Coentau program. Uh... uh out of the first fully empowered counterintelligence program capable of monitoring communication between group members. Damage to garrison minus 20%. Actually, that is incredible. I kind of really desperately need something like that. And if we can get our way up to war economy soon. We actually need to import rubber. So we'll import rubber from the Dutchies Indies. we we'll get tungsten from... You know, let's get it from the Qing. And I'm honestly wondering if we should go up to free trade. Just so we can, you know, export some more stuff. Okay, Bulgaria's been killed off. Which is kind of bad for us, because uh, we do want a strong, you know, anti-Russian member in the Balkans. Because, I mean, the fact that, you know, Greece hasn't joined a faction quite yet scares me a little bit. Usually means they're going to line themselves up with Russia. So, all I think at this point we should basically say all of the Balkans is a threat to us in, in the future. Okay, we're at 74% with you, 73%. We'll land some units. Gonna make you push in like this. 89% red army. I think we want you to force attack your way in. Because we can take a port. A war against... Yeah, okay. Now a war against Japan is significantly easier. Put you guys here. Split you up. Now all a brown army. Delete your previous order. You're gonna move your way over to Japan. And blue army, I'm kind of wondering if I want you to do like another naval invasion. And I think I do. So you know what? Delete your plans. We're going to ship you over to this new German island. We'll get a naval invasion plan from you. Let's just say around Tokyo. I'm going to put six divisions on that naval invasion order. Okay, so Red Army, your job is to march your way down into Japan. I don't know if we'll be able to really push our way up north, but we'll, uh, we'll see. Again, we're still on force attack. And Brown Army, yeah, they should be here sooner rather than later. And you know what? All of you probably actually should be on convoy escort, primarily so that we can actually get supplies into Japan. Modify officer core. Artillery inf artillery experts, combined arms, commando. Who do we have for our army commands? Give me a maneuver, which is, you know, 10% speed's not bad. You know what? Give me faster units. I, I feel like I sometimes maybe underutilize speed. Okay, we're battling some Japanese ships in the area. Ground army is on their way. I think all of you should basically be in brown army now. If we can make our way and push away into Hokkaido, I'd be happy with that. Okay, we've lost some convoys here. How long until you actually land in Japan? You'll be there in five days. Okay, so we're going to pull back a little bit. I mean, there's a lot of Japanese troops around here. We have, God, we have like no manpower. Um, what we need is like, we need more cores. I need op recruit operative. Okay. Are any of you really good at... Counterintelligence, demolition. Okay, none of you are actually like very good at reducing resistance. Yes, we need we need more people to reduce resistance in the northeast. Because people in the northeast right now are Okay, a lot of people are pissed. How's compliance going? Oh, like it, it's fucking going nowhere. Very cool. Pull you back. Our units here are basically pretty good. Brown army needs an invasion going down south. Let's not worry. Okay, let's not worry about Hokkaido. Red army, disband your line. You're just going to defend this port. 71%. 
blue army is almost where they need to be. I'm going to send the 43 stack. You're going to go down towards Tokyo. Just so I kind of know what's going on down there. We have we do have a port. And by port, I mean an airport. Yes, yeah, so all of you guys that I've signed to Blue Army really should actually be covering Brown Army now. Because that's going to be a little bit more important. Because then if we can get like another naval invasion, we can we can navally invade the, the center of Japan. You know, split them off into basically two separate fronts. Oh, but I got no manpower. Uh, advisors, research speed. None of you are like... Recruit population actually would probably be pretty good. But he's also the country leader. Wait, is he? Wait. No, he's... Okay, yeah, we need we need more political power, basically. 78, 79. You've navally invaded behind me. You know, it's a clever trick. But I will stop you. Okay. The Red Scare. The FBI has announced that after many months searching for President Long, he can no longer be presumed alive. The uproar against any socialist group remaining in America is enormous. The War Power Committee can barely keep up with all the state laws being passed to stop socialism. Public approval of uh, George Von Horn Mosley is at an all-time high. Hold your invasion plan. For 92, airfield. How many Japanese planes are in the area? Honestly, not that many. Oh, but you guys actually aren't doing anything. Okay. Well, all aircraft should be doing some good work for us, please. Okay, we now have air superiority. They keep navally invading and taking the airport behind me. Am I going to need to assign one unit just to guard this airport? I think so. Because they keep taking it away from me, which is very, very, very rude. Does Japan not have an air force? Like, the fact that they're only sending, like, 12... No, it's not even, like, a thousand planes. So I'm not too sure, really, what their problem is. Hey, okay, you guys have, like, no supplies right now, but let's not worry about that. We lost some ships in the area. Japan, I really need you to fuck off a little bit. Yeah, we can just like make... I'm gonna split you off like this, maybe. Maybe that'll work out for us. Maybe, maybe it won't. Okay, hold position, hold position. Why are you all such assholes? <laughs> Please. Uh, root out more resistance. Root out resistance here. Like, New England. I, 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 I love you, New England. You're the only part of the United States I've ever been to. I don't, is New York State considered part of New England? I don't know. New York State's the only state I've ever been to in the U.S. But, like, we can be friends, you know? You don't, you don't have to do this. I mean, how many casualties have you taken so far in the war? 14,000. Japan has taken 46,000. So we, we've definitely pushed way more than we've lost. Or we've, we've killed way more than we've lost, which is good. Do we have air superiority yet? All units should be flying over Japan. I'm going to split half of you guys... To our okay, we have no good defense generals. We're just gonna have you last stand here for a second, please. Seventy six, like they're 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 trying. And when will you be ready to launch an invasion? Fifteen more days. Uh, you know what? We'll take um. Let's take two of you off. You don't find shipping over to Brown Army then. Do I need to do this like this? Yeah, launch another naval invasion in Japan. Maybe this will work a little bit better for us. Japan, I really need you to like calm like calm down. Just, just a little bit. Uh I mean trench and speed's not that useful for me, to be honest. 
bring you over here. How do you have, like, no supplies? I think it's a manpower issue still. Heroism. I, I need... <laughs> That in the army. I mean, now give me stability for a factory output. You know what? I kind of have to d do it. The negative 40% stability is really not helping us. Like, how bad does that make this? The low stability is a... I mean, it's only a 14% penalty. But we don't have the manpower to fulfill our garrisons. And we don't have enough guns either. Okay, cool. Uh, give me more infantry equipment, please. Please and thank you. Okay, you're no longer last standing. Just reassign back into this army. Our blue army units are almost here. Because again, if we can just get a second front, this will have 23 divisions, which is pretty good. And our naval invasion attack is going to be improved... In 16 days. Oh, Tokyo just has nobody guarding it. Well, I didn't see that one coming. 95. Look at that. Okay, we, we've taken Tokyo. Land blue army here. Uh, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna do directly attack. We're just gonna split up like this, like this. And this should hopefully bring these units now down south. They actually have no supplies. Why? Where's the capital? The capital is now in Osaka. American capitalism is a little bit of infrastructure, research speed. I mean, that's fine. More support? We actually don't need that. Let's go captive industry. Two civilian factories is kind of ass. Without the noble self-sacrifice of the captive industry, America would have been lost. We should push through Congress a new income tax bracket for those earning more than $10 million annually. With the many exceptions designed to give them useful industrialist tax breaks if they are engaged in philanthropy. Okay, move this unit out. Might as well take this little uh, tile here. And can I now push against you? How bad is your supply? It is a negative 12% defense. Which I think is actually pretty good. Give me another spy, please, so I can keep on rooting a resistance. Let's go resistance in, uh, in the northwest there. How is Hungary still alive, by the way? It's 1940. How is Hungary still alive? I'm honestly a little bit embarrassed for our um, for our allies in the region. Again, all of you should just be flying over here. Do we have any more? I was gonna say, do we have more planes to deploy? I don't know because again, we don't have. Excavation, resource gain, I don't think we need construction. Even that, I don't know if it's really that meaningful at the moment. Give me 1941 artillery. Artillery tax always is pretty cheap. Also, would anybody give me garrison support? I'm assuming the answer is probably no. Doesn't have manpower to give. Doesn't have manpower to give. Oh, you would. Okay, Dutchies Indies, how many troops are you going to give me? 340,000? Okay, that actually... That, you're beautiful. I, l I love you so much. If you can cut Japan in half, I'd be pretty happy with that. Our uh, reinforcements are on their way. Yellow army, you can now once again be preparing your naval invasion into Havana. Free military factories. We need more guns. We need more rifles really than anything else. I'm going to put you here. They actually have not really slowed down their push here, which I'm surprised by. Destroyer efficiency, submarine detection. Sounds good to me. Okay, and the rest of Blue Army's arrived. Our landing crafts have been upgraded. That's going to be really nice when we have to go invade Britain and we have to invade France. So I'm happy with both of those outcomes. Do we have any engineering tax? 1942? Ah, you know what? Let's do it anyways. Okay, you guys can push if you ever feel comfortable doing so. Is this a tile? kind of want to push in like you. You go in half, you go in half, split you up. One day though. One day I will have manpower. 
Because how bad is our penalty now? It is 75% because we're still recovering from the Civil War. For us to actually... For us to fight against the Socialist and Longest Resistance. Oh, where is... Is that fight across? That's the that's Trials. Where, where is it, actually? I don't, I don't know where the... Fighting Resistance is. Purge Dissidents. Okay, we actually probably need to do that next. Just because we want to get... Like, how bad are those penalties for the Resistance? Resistance growth speed plus 20%? Okay, when you put it that way, that, that sounds pretty bad. <laughs> yeah, move you guys forward like this. Germany, thank you for the equipment. I do greatly appreciate it. I mean, and again, Japan shouldn't survive too long. We've got them down currently to 76%. I think that's a fairly reasonable place for them to be at. 400 days is a little expensive. We're going to wait a little bit for the industry tech. We go 19... You know what? 1941 light tank? Done. How many tanks do I actually have in storage? 1.2k. I'm going to put you up to 15 tanks. I'm going to crank you up to... Can I put you up to 48 divisions? Which is 24 times 2. I can. Done. Look, I know we don't have any manpower. We're never going to have enough manpower, okay? It simply just is not going to happen. We're still missing... Even though we just got a lot of manpower from... Um, from the Dutch East Indies, we still don't have enough. Which is... Sad. 93, 72... How is air superiority down here? C could be better. Yeah, close air support on this. I do see these planes actually are not doing anything. But 72 with you. 1940 Tokyo Olympics? You know, I would say that it makes sense for them to be... Uh, not being held right now, given the state of Tokyo at the moment. By the way, Germany, how's your border with France? Oh, it's completely okay. Excellent. The nice thing about Germany being at war with Japan is that it does get the AI to mob or militarize way before they're actually at war with the Internationale, or with Russia for that matter. Honestly, world tension, it's been pretty reasonable this entire time. And you know what? Good for them. Or go for, go for world tension. It benefits us a little bit, I think, for holding on. Actually, does it benefit Germany to wait longer? I think so. Because, I mean, they're a bigger economy than, than France is. So they, they should be able to utilize more time better. Uh, but regardless, it is going to be a good time for us to end this episode. So thanks to everybody for watching. If you enjoyed, give a thumbs up. Not enjoy, click thumbs down. If you want to see more, subscribe and goodbye.